Hey guys, we are here for another morning that we'll be talking about prayer and making it part of the rhythms of our life. I'm excited to be here. Thank you, Luke, for allowing me to do one of these. And I get to talk about uh, the power of intercessory prayer. I don't know if you've ever heard of intercession, but intercessory prayer in its simplest form is when we go to God on behalf of another. So when we intercede for someone, it's when we choose to go to God on behalf of them because we know with God, everything is more abundantly able to be done because he is the ultimate power in our world. And so this is a concept that, I mean, we pray for people all the time. We're interceding in prayer for them. In the Old Testament, we saw many examples of this with, with Abraham, with, with Moses, David, Samuel, uh, Hezekiah, Elijah. And ultimately, in the New Testament, we see the ultimate intercessor in Jesus. And Jesus even went on to say that he intercedes on our behalf. He goes to God and stands before the presence of God on our behalf, on your behalf and my behalf, because one thing is it says we don't truly know how to pray. So he intercedes to God and tells him our request because we might not know how to say it. He intercedes on things we're working through. And so intercessory prayer is best known and seen through him. And so we see in the word of God that we're called to intercede. One of my favorite verses on this is uh, 1 Timothy 2, 1. This is what it says. For all, then, I urge you with entreaties and prayers and intercession and thanksgiving that they be made on behalf of all men. So we are called by the word of God to intercede for others. Uh, another verse that I was thinking about was uh, Philippians 4, uh, 6 through 7. It says, be anxious for nothing, but with everything, let your prayers be, be called out to God. Let your petitions and your requests be presented to God. And so we are called by God to intercede for others. It is a powerful form of selflessness, of loving others. I think about what's happening in our world right now. There is there is chaos in our world. Whether you think about the people that are going through uh, persecution in Afghanistan, uh, what we know about North Korea and the challenges they have, maybe Cuba, and we might not be able to help them by going over there and fighting the battle for them, but we can intercede with God for them. That is something we can do. And so today we're going to be channeling this by praying and making this a rhythm of our life. So let me pray. Let me intercede for you right now as we go into this day. Father, uh, I just want to pray for every single person watching this right now. I pray that they, they have a spirit of selflessness so they intercede on the behalf of others. I think about God, how you show us the perfect example with Jesus, how he intercedes, stands in the gap for us. And thank you that you've given us a perfect example of an intercessor. And so let us intercede for each other. Let us intercede for our leaders. Let us intercede for those who are marginalized or in pain or suffering. And, and I think about in this world, we have so many trials and troubles, but let us take heart because you have overcome the world. Give those people who have fear, give them peace. Give those people who have pain, give them peace. Give those people that are confused, give them peace, Father. And I pray for everyone today watching that they, they remember that there's someone praying for them. There's someone interceding for them. Thank you for the cross. Thank you that we can intercede for others through prayer and coming to your throne with confidence and boldness. We love you and we pray this all in your name.